Chiu Bu the tutor. Hello, I am Chiu Bu. I'm a little girl enjoying both playing and learning. Actually, I think I am Miss with a big cuteness and intelligence. From now on, I will share my knowledge and learn with you. Hope you will like my lessons. And please forgive me if I make any mistake. <laughs> what knowledge I would like to share today is about human organs. Do you know what is the biggest organ in your body? How does your heart work? Before start, please let me introduce my little brother and your sister, Austin. Now class begins. What wraps around your body and keep it safe is your skin. It plays a vital role in detecting hot and cold, regulating your body temperature, and protecting your muscles, bones, and internal organs. Your skin is the thickest on your feet, about 1.4 mm and thinness on your eyelids, which is about 0.2 mm. Skin is the largest organ in your body. Skin accounts for about 50% of your body weight. The average person has about 300 million skin cells. Your skin cells contain melanin that sets the tone of your skin. Small amounts of melanin result in light skin, while large amounts result in dark skin. Melanin also helps to protect from harmful sun rays. But it is really not enough just relying on melanin to protect you. Strong sun rays can cause so much harm to your skin. So don't forget to use different sun protections, especially in the sunny summer season. Sunscreen, sunscreen, we need more sunscreen. Now back to the topic. What lays underneath your skin and muscles, which help you move? That means the skeleton, which forms your body shape. Next are your internal organs. They all have a special job to keep your body going. Your basic internal organs are... Brain Heart Stomach Kidneys Lungs Liver Intestines, bladder. Now I'd like to talk about the heart. The heart is like a big pump that pumps stuff throughout your body constantly. It is between your two lungs. The heart is about the size of your fist. So how does your heart work? It starts with the blood entering the right atrium of your heart. The blood goes through the tricuspid valve into right ventricle. From there, the blood is pumped into pulmonary artery by pulmonary valve. Then the blood reaches the lungs and picks up fresh oxygen from there. After that, the blood travels back through pulmonary vein into left atrium and passes through mitral valve into left ventricle. And finally, the blood is pumped out to the rest of your body through aortic valve. Wow, what a sophisticated and amazing journey! Apart from the heart, the brain is also another vital part of your body. Your brain contains below three parts. Cerebrum. Cerebrum is responsible for learning and thinking. Cerebellum. Cerebellum controls body balance and coordination. Brainstem. Brainstem affects your respiratory and circulation system. The brain is 2% of your body weight, while the cerebrum takes up 85% of the total size of your brain. The cerebrum contains below four lobes. Frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe. The cerebrum consists of two hemispheres. Left brain. The left brain controls the right side of your body. Right brain. The right brain controls the left side of your body. These two halves are believed to have different preferences. The left brain tends to be more responsible for logic, spoken language, math, written language, reasoning, analysis. The left brain tends to be more responsible for fine arts, music, rhythm, 
emotion, imagination, creativity. Your brain never stops working even when you sleep. I'm a bit tired after talking so much. Now I need a nap. Thank you for watching and see you next time.